Hey guys, I wanna do something a little different. I wanna talk about some of the products that I don't review and I don't talk about on the channel. I'm Kyle Brotherson, this is Dirt Bike Channel, stick around. So I've been doing reviews for a long time now. I've kind of been re doing reviews on products in one way or another for at least five years, half a decade. I've brought a lot of different products to you and it's been a lot of fun. And I've, had, I've given some exposure to certain companies and that's been good. And now I have companies reaching out to me all the time, like literally almost daily, I have some company reaching out to me saying, hey, can you do a spotlight on this or can you do a spotlight on that? And the truth of the matter is, I say no to about 95% of those types of things because it has to, the product has to move the needle for me in some way. And then if it does move the needle for me in some way, most of the time I just go out there and I buy the thing. They reach out to me and say, hey, are you interested in reviewing this? And I say, no thanks, and then I'll go out there and I'll buy it, um, you know, just so that I can have no strings attached. I'll buy the product or the service or whatever it is, and I'll try it. And I have never brought anything to you guys when I haven't known a fair amount about it. I either have had a riding buddy that had it and I've used it on his bike, or I go out there and I use the product for five, six hours, 10, 20 hours before I bring it to you. Every once in a while, there's a product that's like a new product that's kind of spin off of something that I've seen before, and I'll do like a spotlight on it before I've used it, like on helmets. You know, I just reviewed a Fly Formula helmet. Um, I've had tons of Fly helmets, and so I did a spotlight on it before it actually used the helmet, but I had a pretty good indication of what the company is about and what the product is about because I've used its brothers and sisters over the past. But I want to talk a little bit about a lot of the products that never make the channel because here's the reality of it. Everyone thinks that I'm po like they know everything that I'm doing on Dirt Bike Channel because they see, look, he's got pushing 800 videos out there. We know what he does. The truth of the matter is I only film about 1% of the things I do with dirt bikes. Um, most of what I do with dirt bikes never sees your computer screen or your, or your phone screen. There's a lot of products that I have bought and tested and then I'm like, you know what? I, I really don't know that I have anything to a value to add here. All I'm gonna do is run the company through the mud and I don't wanna do that. I wanna be about building things up and adding value to not only you, the consumer, but to the companies out there. And if a company makes a product that I don't really have anything good to say about, then I don't go out there on my platform and you know, say anything about it. I will reach out to the company directly and say, hey, here's some problems I have with your product. This is why I'm not gonna show it on my channel because I don't wanna show things on my channel that don't bring value to you. And for me to just say this product sucks doesn't really fit with the way that I like to do things and it isn't really giving you any value. So, I mean, it could be a ton of things. And there are other things that like have some value, but not enough to me to want to, want to you know, show it to you. Just recently, a little while ago, KTM for the first time ever sent me like a care package of goodie stuff from their, from their KTM Power Parts catalog. Now, some of the things there have some pretty good value and some of the things really have almost no value. Like the Akrapovic silencer that is on this bike right now, this silencer costs like $500 and it isn't even spark arrested. So yes, I have it installed on this bike right now just to see what, was, what is going on with it. Like if it, if it affected my power curve or anything like that. And I rode the bike and I couldn't tell any, I, couldn't even tell. I mean, I'm just riding it. I forgot all about it until I got back and looked at this expensive silencer that really does nothing because you can't use this silencer anywhere legally because it isn't for a service to prove it doesn't have a spark arrestor. Like the bling part on the front of this bike right here, there's a KTM power part, like the, the anodized, you know, brake cylinder cover. This does nothing for your bike except for add some bling. But I decided, you know what? KTM sent me this stuff. I'll stick it on this bike. Just out of gratitude and eventually someone will see it. And maybe there's a lot of things that I have tested on this channel, like things like silencers and pipes and some types of levers and auto clutches and some of the hand guards and some of the suspension tunes that I've done. I, I didn't say anything about them because I wasn't happy with how it turned out. Like, you know, linkage protectors and map switches and some goggles and gloves and oils and other skid plates and end caps for your silencers and front disc guards and tires and moose bibs and batteries and tire sealant and tools and pipe guards. Not all this stuff is bad, but it's just like, if I don't have anything that's really that good to say about it or that earth shattering to say about it, I'm not going to do it. 
You know, like there are companies out there that are making good products, but maybe it isn't solving a problem that I have, or maybe it's a problem that I don't want to solve. And so there's not a real good incentive for me to review that product because I just don't have anything valuable to add. And maybe it's just because it doesn't fit what I want to do. But the point is this, I review a lot of things that never make it to the channel. I try a lot of things that never ever make it to the channel. Most of the things that I do don't make it on here because I'm like, eh, it doesn't really have a ton of value. Like this seat, another example. So this is the KTM Power Parts seat. They sent this seat to me. I did not buy it. I'm testing it out. I've only been on one ride with it. And you know, the jury is out. I need to ride it a little bit more. It's very grippy, very, very grippy. And in the end, maybe I'll decide, you know what? This is grippy enough that I will say, um, this is something that I might want to bring to the channel. But as of right now, I've got to test it first. I've got to go out there and use it for five, 10, 20 hours and be like, hey, is this worth it for the average consumer to buy this? And then maybe, maybe I'll talk to you about it. So just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a peek behind the curtain with what I'm trying to do behind the scenes. I don't just throw stuff up um, you know, as a product for you and like, hey, go buy this. I first have to test the thing. I have to, I have to like it. If I don't like it, I don't show it. Now, that's how I've handled things for the first five years. Things could change in the future, and if they do change, I will, you'll be the first to know. But as of right now, I only show you things that I use, that I think are valuable, and that help me in some way. That doesn't mean like a bling part is bad for you, like a bling part on the front of your bike. Doesn't mean that I'm saying you shouldn't do that. I'm just saying I generally don't because I'm cycling through three, four, or five bikes a year, and so it doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Anyway, just a little bit of plug for kind of what's going on behind the scenes. I hope you guys like the peek behind the curtain. If you ever want to support me, you can go over to PayPal, right on my website, dirtbikechannel.com. I've got a PayPal uh, monthly donation link. You can also use Patreon if you like, and we will be doing dirt bike sweepstakes. Uh, this bike right here, this Beta 300 RR Race Edition, I'm gonna get the parts to put this thing back together today. They're supposed to come in the mail, um, the radiator and the pipe. I think my chain guide is still, uh, still coming, uh, but I'll be able to put this bike back together and then I'm gonna be able to start to ride this bike soon. But this is a bike that I'll be giving away sometime March, April, May, maybe even June timeframe. This bike and probably another bike will be given away. Watch the channel for those sweepstakes because basically during those sweepstakes, every $5 you spend on my website gets you entered to win a dirt bike, which is a pretty cool thing. And that also helps support my family. Okay, so that's what I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you are getting more riding in than I am because I'm basically doing no riding here in the month of January and it kind of sucks. So anyway, you guys get out there and do the riding for me and let's leave a single track. Thanks guys.